Dana. Fran. Look at you. You've done so much for yourself. Really? You shotgunned a beer with Luke Combs. People said it couldn't be done. And somehow, in so doing, you appear to have gained a lot of weight. But you're just looking boxy, man. <laughs> That's not a good verb to be you called. You are something that someone would see being taken off their porch via a ring camera. Today, I wanted to teach you the presidential line of succession, the chain of command. Love it. We have POTUS. What does that stand for? The Pee on the uterus, son. Is that? I never heard that. I just made it up. Pee on the uterus. Son. Who's after the president? The Who's V POTUS. After the vice president. This is where it gets hairy for old Beersy. Mm -hmm. I'm going to guess Speaker of the House. Well done. Yeah? Speaker of the House is a Republican. What's it is it start with? Mike. Pence. No. Giuliani. It's Mike Johnson. <laughs> it's close to my Johnson. No comment? No, that wasn't worth stopping for. House Speaker, then who? Commander in Chief. <laughs> what? Well, the Commander in Chief is the President of the United States. What? Yeah. Why does he have multiple nicknames? Because he's got multiple roles. Senate President Pro Tempore. Ugh. Too many words. You tell me these fucking three get blown up one day. Then the Tempore guy is number one? Yeah, there needs to be a line of succession in case there is what is called a decapitation event. That fucking head comes off. A bad guy or a terrorists manage to cut off multiple heads of the government. They have to cut their heads off? N no, it, figuratively. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. After the president pro tempore of the Senate, we get into members of the cabinet. Any thoughts about which member of the cabinet would be the next? None. Not a single thought, Francis. It's actually the Secretary of State. Okay. Do you know who the Secretary of State is under Biden's administration? No, I don't. don't. Anthony Blinken. Who the fuck is Anthony Blinken? Anthony, no H. Why? Because he doesn't like H. I don't call him Anthony Edwards. But he fucking... goes by Ant. We have the Secretary of the Treasury. You know what the Treasury Secretary does? Money. They set the interest rates. Don't get me started on fucking interest rates. Well, we won't get you started. <laughs> I don't get them. Yeah, that'd be biting off more than you can chew. And you can chew a lot. <laughs> Come on. After the Secretary of Treasury is Secretary of Defense. No. How many fucking secretaries do we need, no. boys? After this, it is... Attorney General. Well oh! done! I didn't expect that. Suck my fucking cock. I won't. Do you know who the Attorney General is? Fauci. That wouldn't make sense, right? No, he's the health guy. Merrick Garland? Does that ring John a bell? John McCain? Merrick Garland, I've given you the answer. You can stop guessing now. John McCain's been dead for like... Years. See the guy that shot someone? Until we get to 14 after Secretary of Housing and Urban Development is Secretary of Transportation. That's a noteworthy person. Do you know who that is? Giuliani. Pete Buttigieg. Oh, he's the guy. In 1792, they created the Presidential Succession Act, and then that was rejuggled and switched. You've seen the guy who juggles the apples. And eats a bite? I fucking love that guy. He's ferocious. Brian Pankey. That's his name? <laughs> You don't know the Secretary of State, but you know the guy who juggles apples. <laughs> Brian his name. Thank you, dude. You know his name. Brian Pankey. Yeah, she said the word juggle. What am I going to do? Not bring up Brian Pankey? Over our country's 350 year history, 346 years, 347 years. What do you mean? We've been around since fucking Nam. Uh, Not actual Nam, like forever. 1776. When the fuck did Columbus come in? 1492? America's birth date. Yeah, but. July 4th. We've been here. We weren't just not America. Right, fine. But. Yeah. Point for me. No. Yes. No point Say for it. you. Yeah. There's like a, a prologue to our history. Yeah. It's a point for me. We've already been over just that. Give me this one. I'm not. Just give me this one. I can't Why? let you. Because, because you, you need to be disciplined. America was alive before the Declaration of Independence. It was there. There was land. Yeah, there they, they were. There were. You're yeah. Right. So point me. All right, fine. Whatever. Yeah. It's frustrating. It's frustrating to be in a room with you. Good fucking hit, Dana. Good hit. What about the Flotus? Who's the Flotus? First fucking lady, dude. No, no power. She's just chilling. Mm -hmm. What do they call the man? 
if it were a woman. The first man? <laughs> really? The first husband? I think we'd do better than that. First gentleman? First gentleman would Might be, be first gentleman, yeah. The Fagotis. Fagotis. It's close. <laughs> it's close to a bad word. Fagotis also sounds like something you would drink a beer out of on the 4th of July. <laughs> Labongo Labongo Fagotis. Fagotis. I just came up with something, boys. Chain of command. No. Come on. Give me another one. Flagotis? Give me another. I'll give you that one. Flagotis. That's pretty good. That's not bad. Right, we're going to quiz you right now. Senate President Pro Tempore. Pete Bugaya. No. <laughs> you remember this one? It's a girl. Nope. Pete Gugaga? No. What is he, how do you fucking say it? Pete Buttigieg. Yeah, he's that. He's one of these. He's none of these. That's our chain of command. All right. And uh, don't you forget it, Dana Beers. I, won't. I actually, I will remember.